Hi, I'm Izzy. Welcome back to the Gleason First Time Buyer Podcast. We've created this podcast to help you on your home ownership journey and we'll be covering everything from interior tips to finance advice and everything in between with some amazing guests joining us along the way. You'll be able to find our podcast on all the most common streaming services, but also on our YouTube channel, which you can find by searching Gleason Homes. In this week's episode, we're joined by one of our fantastic senior sales executives, Sharon, who's here to talk us through everything you should do in the run-up to moving into your new home to ensure it all runs as smoothly as possible without a hitch. So, Sharon, welcome to our podcast. If you could introduce yourself to our listeners, tell them a bit about your job role, where you're based. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, It's lovely to be here. I'm really excited. So, my name's Sharon. Um, I'm a senior sales executive, as as you've mentioned, and I've been with Gleason for two and a half years. Lovely. I've actually come from an education background. Okay. I previously worked in a school. Um, my role within Gleason is just really to be support, mentor and support new starters. Yep. Um, I'm first part of call on a weekend for any member of staff mm-hmm. and I collect all the sales figures as well. Lovely. My favourite part of the job, um, I just really love helping people. So yeah. whether it be a colleague or helping a customer to find the dream home, yep. I, I just love that side of it oh well we we um spoke with josh and tanya who are some of your customers i think yep. previously and they were singing your praise they were oh, saying you have fantastic. to give sharon a shout out so oh that's really nice of them yeah. they're a the lovely couple they are lovely. they're gorgeous <laughs> so you're based on rainsborough park i am yes yeah? yep. and how do you like the development yes it's very busy yep. we're a, quite a large development just yeah. starting phase three on here wow. so yeah pl- plenty of houses to sell and yeah. lots of interested customers so it keeps Lovely. me on my toes <laughs> amazing so in this podcast we're talking about um moving in and any tips that you have for our new movers mm-hmm. so let's paint a picture you're a customer of a gleason home and you've just reserved and you're getting all excited you've been given the date to collect your keys what would be the first thing that you would tell one of our customers to do when sorting the big steps of moving into their first home Yep. So um, obviously wait until you've got that completion date confirmed um, and your sales executive can help you with that. Mm -hmm. And then just book a few days off work. It's a really strenuous time unpacking. You want to settle in properly. So so yeah, a couple of days off work. Yeah. I would suggest maybe not booking any deliveries or anything for that first that completion day. Mm just because we don't know when the monies are con- go- going to come through. So, yeah. so yeah, just um, maybe a few days after after the completion day, yeah. just, just so you can really get stuck in and unpack. I feel like probably they didn't realise, I didn't when I moved, how much stuff you actually have. Like, you start Absolutely. piling it all up, but then you just find, like, boxes of clothes or just yeah. stuff that you didn't even realise you had. So, <laughs> yeah, a few Absolutely. days off would be good. Okay, so after they've booked a few days off work, what's next? What would they... Uh, what would they? What would you say the next steps would yeah, be? Yeah, so I would potentially start looking at um, booking a removal company. Yeah. Um, obviously, they're the professionals, so they know how to pack all your uh, fragile items, and they'll yeah. just know how to transport your furniture, how to get it in your house, yeah. things like that. And it takes the stress away from you having to do it as a buyer as well. That's You've true. got enough to do without having to worry about that. So you've got the day off, that's ticked. You've booked your removal company, that's all sorted. What would be the next step to our customers? Sit back and relax. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it as much as possible. I know, I know. It is such a stressful time. And please, please be patient. Yeah. Just because there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, we will ring you as soon as that money comes through. Yeah. So enjoy the day yeah um and just wait for that phone call yeah obviously you can be doing things in the run-up to that as well you could be booking a wi-fi engineer yes um just check with your sales executive that the line is connected to your home and Mm -hmm. then once that's done you can arrange an engineer to come out yeah um or do your router yeah that's good because I don't with working from home being a bit more popular if you've moved into your house and you've not got the wi-fi sorted absolutely and everything needs wi-fi these days tv it does, it does. alexa everything it just you need the internet connection that's, so yeah, that's yeah. a good tip that's correct yeah so in a previous podcast we um, spoke to two of our brand ambassadors tom and Liv, and a tip that they told me which i actually wouldn't have even thought because i live in an apartment so mm-hmm. this didn't even cross my mind but was to sort bins out and also labels for the bins because everyone's in a new home, no one has a bin. Yeah. Um, and they also mentioned when you've got all your stuff that you've been moving in with, 
you need rubbish bins to put them all in. Absolutely. I listened to that podcast and I <laughs> thought, wow, that is a really useful tip. Yeah, yeah. I would never have thought of that. But no. we do advise our customers to order a bin yeah. in advance. Um, some some councils have got different timescales, so it's always worth just giving them a call and just seeing how much notice they need for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. Just get in touch with the council and yeah. they can arrange to drop the bins off ready for when you move in. Yeah, I think it is just all these little things which you kind of probably almost take for granted when you're living at home yeah, with your parents. You do, don't you? You don't think about bins. No, there's... I would never have. But but Tom was right in that you've got so much packaging on the yeah. day when you're when you're unpacking, unwrapping exactly. things. And you don't want to become unpopular with your neighbours on the first no. day when you just pile them <laughs> all the rubbish up. Definitely. So a home to um, a first time buyer is probably one of the most important purchases mm-hmm. someone will make. It's a quite it's a big purchase. It could be scary. So therefore, it's probably good for people to insure it. What type of insurance do you need as a new homeowner? Yeah. So. Um, First of all, you, any buyer gets a two-year warranty with Gleason, so they can report any defects within the first two years. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also the 10-year NHBC warranty and insurance on the building, yeah. so you, you've got peace of mind that that's protected as well. Yeah. But then you're going to have to think about things like your buildings in, and contents insurance, mm-hmm. And as well as comparison sites, uh, my best advice would be to speak to your financial advisor about that. They can always sort out some insurances for you. Yeah. Um, I know Justin's done a few podcasts and I think he's mentioned that in one of the previous ones. Yes. So we spoke to, we had a three part um, episode with Justin from Meridian Mortgages. So we've got booking a Wi-Fi engineer, we've got removal companies, we've Mm -hmm. got ordering your bins, we've got booking a few days off work, probably the most important thing. Yes. What else would you suggest for our customers? Have you got any more tips or tricks for our customers? Yeah, a few. (laughs) So um, we will be inviting customers in for a home demonstration, roughly around seven days before completion. And it would be a good idea to bring along a tape measure so that you can measure for curtains and blinds, things like that. Um, we, We send out customer first information videos. So whenever you get a moment, just have a listen to those. There's lots of great information in those for... Uh, how to look after your home once you've moved in and things about your utilities and where where to find your meter cupboards and things like that yeah so uh, that's a really good one redirect your post yes this is a very good one because it's my parents hated me for the first couple of weeks because I kept getting all my posts I kept forgetting to send it across that's definitely with the driving license as well that's a key one yeah so you need to change your address on your driving license any banks that you're with yeah change your address um, we do register your address with Royal Mail, but it can take a few weeks just to update on their system. So right. do bear that in mind. Yeah, it is quite exciting when I remember when I first changed my driving license to kind of see your driving license with your own address on it. Yeah. It's like, Ooh, oh, it's exciting. It's, it's yeah. lovely. I know I remember my first one. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, just to reassure any customers as well that we, we take meter readings on the day. Mm-hmm. Um, we will send those meter readings over to the utility companies. We'll right. we'll let the council know for council tax purposes. Yeah. Again, these can take between four and six weeks just to register. So yeah. please be patient. Again, yeah. um, it's all in hand. Yeah. We're looking after you with, with regards to that. Yeah. And I think the other thing is just to register your appliances, mm-hmm. um, your oven, your hob, your extractor fan, things like that, because yeah. they'll give you your, your extra warranties yeah. on those products. Definitely. And I think following yeah. on from when um, you mentioned about the tape measure to bring mm. to measure for curtains, another tip, which I've just remembered that I think it was potentially Liv um, that said it, was go on our Instagram and have a look at all of our, we've got some fantastic brand ambassadors, but also just any customers on our Instagram. It's great to get inspiration for when you are looking to get your curtains or Mm. just general interior tips and suggestions. Yeah, absolutely. Social's a great place for that. Even I've been looking at them and I've (laughs) redesigned my whole house based on Instagram. Tom, I think in his home, um, has a really lovely orangey rustic wall yeah um yeah. and I was actually showing my friends a few weeks after we did the podcast with him and it's something that I'm looking at doing now I've got a fireplace in my house and um I'm looking at changing that based off oh wow. based off Gleason. so I'll turn my apartment into a Gleason ah. inspo <laughs> it's it's the kitchen for me I've redesigned my whole kitchen um yeah it's 
amazing yeah. I can't wait I've just got the flooring to go down but yeah. I've taken inspiration from the kitchens that Gleason offer yeah. so so yeah really excited oh. to get that finished lovely so to summarize what is your it can be one that we've already mentioned but what would be your number one tip to a Gleason customer moving into their first home be patient I yeah. think <laughs> yeah um it will happen and you've got the rest of your life in your dream home yeah. so we are working hard for you to get it completed on time yeah. um and yeah just enjoy your property but don't forget to look after your grass as well <laughs> <laughs> keep your grass watered <laughs> I love that that's a nice that's a nice one to end on I think thank you so much for joining me today to share your tips and tricks to prepare for moving in day super thank you for having me it's You're been welcome. lovely thank you for listening see you next week where we'll be talking about our interior design and summer trends don't forget to follow us on Spotify so you don't miss an episode see you next week <laughs>